Hey everyone, Nicholas here from CryptoTech and welcome back to another video on this channel. And this is a very short video on your display drivers on of your PC. So I'm in the middle of shooting the Windows 11 upgrade. I've, re, I've reinstalled everything. And so the focus on today's this video right here actually is about uh, NVIDIA, or well, not only NVIDIA, but uh, graphics card drivers. What happens is um, sometimes you have issues with your graphics card and that might be caused by uh, your your drivers being corrupted and it it doesn't fix it if you uninstall it and reinstall it or update it with the with uh, what you call that the GeForce Experience uh, software from NVIDIA. It doesn't fix it because the driver is already corrupted. So sometimes you have this kind of kind of issues. So to fix it, you need to clean. You need a very fresh install of a new NVIDIA driver. This applies to AMD graphics card as well. So well, this applies to any uh, regardless of the company this applies to any graphics card driver so what you need to do is there's this software called uh, display driver uninstaller ddu you just search ddu uninstaller on google and you go to the webnutsoft.com website and you download the latest ddu i just downloaded the ddu and then the latest driver from nvidia uh, what what happened just now is I I reinstalled Windows 11 and it automatically searched for a uh, an Nvidia uh, driver. So now we go to the downloads. Yeah, there's this DDU. So you run this and then you extract it, and then there will be a folder right here, and then you can de delete this. So you only need that folder. So yeah, this is the latest driver and this is the uninstaller. So what we're gonna do is we need to do everything in safe mode. What we do is when we press restart, we hold shift, we hold shift. When we pre press restart and then it will go to, it will not straight away restart, it will say please wait and then there will be a menu that comes out so let's wait for that menu to come out okay what happened just now is the computer just rebooted for the menu to come out sometimes it will it, the menu will come out before the, the reboot sometimes this happens where it reboots and then the menu comes out after the reboot so when you have when you're in this menu uh you choose troubleshoot and then you don't want to reset this pc because i just reset this is a very fresh install there's no need to reset i have to do everything again you you just have to keep in mind that you don't ac accidentally click reset this pc so that you don't lose all your files and everything so click advanced options and then you have all these options over here you need to click startup settings startup settings and then it will say restart to change window options you just click restart and then it will restart again so let's wait for it to come out and then we'll enable an option called save mode on windows uh, this this can be applied on windows 10 as well both windows 10 and 11 can be used with save, save mode and this the driver issue can be fixed with this same step on both operating systems. So you look at this, it says to enable safe mode, press 4. So we're just going to press number 4 on the keyboard and then it will enable safe mode. So in safe mode, it will, it will load every basic driver it's needed. So yeah no internet connection because in safe mode there's no you don't need internet so uh the land driver and everything is not loaded on only the absolute 
completely necessary drivers are loaded and it's the, a very basic one. So your NVIDIA or AMD gra graphics drivers are not loaded. So, so that you can clean it very thoroughly with this DDU software. So you go here and then you run it. Okay, this is the first time you're running this software. So these options will come out. And then you have to look at your own brand graphics card specific options. I have NVIDIA, remove everything. Uh, you're gonna have to do remove everything for, for AMD or Intel as well. So, and then prevent downloads from, of drivers from Windows update when Windows search for a driver for a device. I have to enable, enable that. So. Remember to enable that if you don't want to unplug and re replug your uh what your Ethernet cable or or you don't want your Windows to automatically connect to your Wi-Fi and then it downloads again the driver. So no. what happened to my grammar? Ha Well so make sure you click this, make sure you remove everything, and then there's this close button thing. Yeah, click that. And then over here, you just select device type. The device type is GPU. Set, select your brand. My brand is NVIDIA. And then you can, you can just survey clean and restart, but I normally do everything manually myself. So I just click clean and do not restart. Yeah. Clean uninstall complete. Would you like to exit now? You click yes, it will exit the what the DDU program. Why does it keep coming up to bother me? Now you can go and restart. After you restart, you just go and run the installer of the new driver you just downloaded. Go to downloads and then run the new driver installer and let it install. So this makes sure that uh, the drive, the GPU driver that you installed is the latest and it's the cleanest because it's a very fresh install. So this makes sure that uh, it will get rid of any issues that are related to the driver. So if you do this step and there are still issues with your system, they there could be two possibilities. First is that the issue is caused by some other devices in your PC, or if it's not, then it's a hardware issue that you have to change out your graphics card. Hopefully it's not the late, latter one, because well, in today's market, you're, you're gonna have a hard time trying to find a graphics card at a reasonable price. So. NVIDIA graphics driver and GeForce experience. Normally, I don't use GeForce experience to update the driver. I just use it to uh, check for new, check for, check if there's new drivers being released. So normally I update drivers using this method as well to, to just avoid any possible issues, you know, prepare for any problem before it becomes a problem, you know. <laughs> Is, is that a saying in, in, in English? I don't know. I don't know how you say it in, in English. Custom and then perform a clean installation. Install everything next and then let it install. Okay, this normally happens when you install, uh, what do you call it? The graphics drivers. It resets the it resets the launch, launch. I'll do that later. All right, I'll delete this and then uh, what does it say? NVIDIA control panel. Oh, right. Sometimes, sometimes the NVIDIA control panel doesn't automatically install if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card. Of course, I have not used 
AMD graphics card before, so I don't know what's the case with that. So sometimes with NVIDIA, the control panel just automatically install like I, like it just happened here. So you have to go to the Microsoft Store and search for NVIDIA control panel and install it manually. So it uh, automatically installed. So I just have to launch the control panel. And just on the topic of uh, uh, graphics drivers, I'm going to show you what settings I changed after fresh installing a new NVIDIA graphics driver. So this is the NVIDIA control panel. You can see your driver version number right here and your graphics card RTX 3070 Ti I have. And the version number is the latest one as of shooting of this video. So 5512.15, you go to, I go to manage 3D settings. And then you have all these options over here. And then I just, I look up, I look for power management mode and then click that and change that to prefer maximum performance. And then go for texturing, filtering, quality, and then you click on the option and you click on highest performance. Now, some people say that it uh, degrades the quality of your games, the visual quality of your games, but I have not noticed any uh, differences in changing these settings. So, but there's a difference in performance. So difference in performance that you notice and no difference in, uh, in visual quality that you can notice. I just change it to high performance. Uh, you can experiment on this with yourself and find the best one. The best one for me is high performance. And so that's why I use it. So let's apply. It takes some time to apply. So let it apply or it applied faster this time. Configure some sound, just double check that it auto right. It always selects the graphics card. So I don't have to do anything there. The resolution out. The resolution I'll change in the Windows settings later when I set up Windows 11. And then I go to G-Sync because G this is a, the panel I'm using is a, I don't remember the model, but it's, but it's a G-Sync compatible display. I'll put the name of the monitor right here and the link in the description below if I remember the link. So now, in the setup G-Sync menu, I enable for window and full screen mode. The default is only for full screen mode. I enable for everything. You want to enable for everything as well, just to take advantage of the feature and apply it. And I think that's pretty much it to, to changing the settings in, in video control panel, changing the driver settings. And after that, I just restart the PC to make sure that the settings take effect. So that's it for, for this video. I think this is the first video that I've never showed my face on, on cam before. Well, on this channel anyway. So, well, I think that's pretty much it. Mm, right. Thank you very much for watching. And if you learned anything from this video and you like it, please leave this video a thumbs up. And if you like more tips and tricks on or any video on uh, PC tech related stuff, you can subscribe to the channel as well. We need more, well, I need more subscribers that I can get. I only have 45 currently of this, uh, currently at the time of shooting of this video. So. If you're interested, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it'll be pretty much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. There will always be a next video. Alright, bye.